Parents of infants have been asking me a mouthful of questions about what to do about their baby's teething problems. Well, let me see if I can bite into this issue and provide some information on the topic. It turns out that teething begins at about three months of age with some drooling and continues up to three years of age when all of the first set of baby teeth are in place. Now, some babies have no problem whatsoever with teething, but others become crank monsters with crankiness, crying, inconsolability, difficulty sleeping. Well, what we do know about teething is, while you can be cranky with teething, you don't get fevers, nasal congestion, or diarrhea because of the teeth. And if your baby has these symptoms, temperatures up more than a degree, talk to your child's health care professional who want to find out what's causing the problem, but don't blame it on the teeth. That being said, kids can still be irritable when a tooth is breaking through. So we need to make kids comfortable. And a great thing to do is give babies something to chew on, something they can't choke on, but something that's also cold and will help to numb the gums. My favorite is to take a damp washcloth or a rubber teething ring and put it in the freezer for no more than 30 minutes to avoid frostbite of the gums, and then give it to babies to gnaw on or chew on. That's soothing, and it also numbs the gums. But if that doesn't work, then you may need to turn to over-the-counter acetaminophen, which can help cut the pain. What you don't want to use are teething gels or rubbing alcohol on the gums, because if these get into your baby's bloodstream, they can result in serious complications. Now, once a tooth is broken through, you want to keep it clean by washing it or going over it each day with a damp washcloth, or if the tooth gets big enough, using a baby toothbrush. One of the problems I hear about with teething is the dreaded drooling rash, which is breakdown of the skin on the cheeks underneath the chin as saliva from your baby with teething comes off onto their face and the chemicals irritate the skin. My treatment for that is to either use a cloth diaper at night against your baby's head or underneath their neck to absorb the moisture from the saliva, or better yet, to use some petroleum jelly, put it on the cheeks and around the mouth so it serves as a barrier so saliva rolls over that, doesn't break down or irritate the skin, and leaves baby's face looking beautiful while he or she is teething. So that hopefully, tips like this will be ones you won't want to brush away when it comes to knowing a little bit more about what to do for your baby's teething. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First, reminding you to always be first with your kids.